Prompt engineering. Prompt engineering. Prompt engineer. Prompt engineering. Prompt engineering. What the heck is prompt engineering? Prompt engineering is a new emerging field in the AI space. With prompt engineering, you can steer large language models to perform specialized tasks more efficiently. We all know that if we ask ChatGPT to create a poem for us, it will create one that is not at all special. However, if we assign it a role, like act as a top poet, write me a poem, the result will be entirely different. Not only will the quality of the poem be different, but the AI will become suddenly more creative. This doesn't apply only to poems, it can be extended to any area, like coding or writing blogs. To find out more about prompt engineering, I recommend you my course, Prompt Engineering Masterclass on Udemy. The link is in the description. In this clip, we are going to talk about the best prompt engineering frameworks that you can use in your day-to-day -day job to generate better and more efficient deliverables. First one is the RTF framework. RTF stands for Role, Task, and Format, and this trifecta can be a game changer in eliciting improved outputs across various scenarios. Let's break it down. R is for Role. This is where you identify the persona or the capacity in which you or someone else will operate. It sets the stage, creating a context that shapes the approach to the task at hand. T stands for Task. This is the specific action or set of actions that need to be accomplished. It's the mission you or others are set to embark upon. And F is for format. This refers to the structure or the medium through which the task will be executed. It's about how you present your output. Applying the RTF framework is as simple as pi. You frame a prompt that goes like, act like a role. Can you insert task in format format, for example? Act like a designer. Can you create a logo in vector format? This precise manner of prompting not only clarifies the expectation, but also ignites the spark of creativity, providing a clear, focused direction. The beauty of the RTF framework lies in its adaptability. Whether you're brainstorming in a professional setting, working on a personal project, or guiding a team towards a common goal, the RTF framework lends a structured yet flexible approach to nudging the creative juices. So, the next time you find yourself or your team in a rut, remember the RTF framework. Role, task, format. A simple formula to redefine problems and uncover solutions in a way that's as engaging as it is effective. Another interesting prompting framework is the RISEN framework. RISEN stands for Role Instructions, Steps, End Goal, Narrowing. The last part comprises the constraints that should bound the answer provided by the model. This prompting technique is particularly good for writing blogs or for generating tasks with clear guidelines, such as developing a business plan. Let's see a clear example. We first need to define the role as follows. You are a marketing manager for a tech startup. Then we provide the instruction to the LLM. Design a marketing strategy to introduce our new cloud storage product to small and medium enterprises. Finally, we provide the steps. To have a clear answer, provide as many steps as possible. Here's an example of some steps in the context of our current prompt. Identify the unique selling points of our cloud storage solution compared to competitors. Research and segment the SME market based on industry size and region. Develop targeted marketing materials, such as brochures, videos, and case studies that resonate with the identified segments. Plan and execute an email marketing campaign to introduce the product to potential clients. Collaborate with the sales team to conduct webinars and product demonstrations for interested leads. Measure the campaign's performance using metrics like click-through rate, conversion rate, and customer feedback. We then need to provide the end goal such as, the end goal is to generate 500 qualified leads within the first three months of the campaign with a conversion rate of at least 10%. Last but not least, let's invent some constraints. The marketing budget is limited to $20,000. The campaign should focus solely on SMEs in the North American region. Avoid targeting industries that are already oversaturated with similar products. Use only digital marketing channels to reach the target audience. That's it. Let's input this prompt. And as you can see, we get a very well-structured response back. Use this prompting framework 
whenever you have to do something specific. This prompting technique should not be used for tasks involving creativity, as this will limit the model quite a lot. I am going to explain another prompting framework called RODES. RODES stands for Role, Objective, Details, Examples, Sense Check. This prompting technique should be used when you have examples similar to your desired output. Let's say we are in charge of product management at a software company and we want to introduce a new tool inside our platform that would enable our team to work simultaneously on shared documents. Here, how we would structure this prompt. First, we provide the role. You are a product manager at a software company that specializes in collaboration tools. Next is the objective. Introduce a new feature to our existing collaboration platform that allows for real-time document editing by multiple users. Now the details. Ideally, we would structure the details in separate categories. Functionality. The feature should allow multiple users to edit a document simultaneously, with each user's changes being visible in real time to others. Compatibility. Ensure it works seamlessly across desktop and mobile versions of our platform. User identification. Users should have distinct cursors or color codes to identify who is making edits. History and AMP. Rollback. The feature should have a version history option, allowing any user to roll back changes to a previous version. Access control. Provide settings for the document owner to grant or restrict editing permissions to specific users. Let's supply some examples. Think of Google Docs, where multiple users can edit a document simultaneously and can see each other's cursors and changes in real time. Consider how Dropbox paper showcases user icons next to the edits they make, helping to identify who made which changes. Let's provide a sense check as well. Will this feature improve collaboration among users compared to the existing tools we offer? Does this align with feedback or requests we've received from our user base? How does this feature set us apart from competitors, and is there sufficient demand to justify its development? What potential challenges might arise during development and deployment, and how can they be mitigated? Now let's click Enter and see what GPT-4 answers and we get a very comprehensive answer with the requirement for such a product. This is a very useful prompt framework that can essentially drive entire lines of business. The only caveat is that if you want to get quality output, you need to provide as many examples as possible yourself. That's it for this clip. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video. Until next time, happy coding.